Hi guys, this time I will show you how to use LT Spice inside of Electric PLSI. First, download the latest versions of both programs. I will assume that you have installed your LT Spice program inside the Applications folder. Then you need to open a text editor just as gedit, emacs, bi, or text wrangler. I personally really like text wrangler. Okay, we need to type the following lines. OK, we are going to be saving this file in your working directory. That is to say, the directory where your electric PLSI is already located. We are going to save it as electric underscore LT with no extension. my working directory, notice that I have my models on it, I have my electric underscore LT that will be my um, Unix script, I have my electric VLSI as well as a simple NMOS transistor to make the test. We are going to open our terminal, I have it located in a folder named other, I'm going to make click on that, that's it. OK, we are going to direct ourselves to our working directory. If I make a list in here, I'm going to be watching my four files. And then we are going to change permissions by using change mode plus x to my electric underscore LT file. Now, I can see that permissions have already been granted my file. And that's it. Exit. Now let's open Electric PLSI. Now we are going to click on Preferences. Now open Tools folder, click on Spice slash CDL, and fill out the fields as indicated on the screen. Notice that I have my working directory here, slash electric underscore LT, that is my Unix script. Also, fill out those arguments. Click OK. Now, open your test file. As I told you before, this is a simple NMOS transistor. I already have written the spice code on it and let us write our spice deck clicking tools simulation spice write spice deck and here you are this is LT spice click the running man let's add a waveform in here that's it ta -da! Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.